This is a very exciting time for the College of Veterinary Medicine as we prepare to occupy the Randall Terry Companion Animal Veterinary Medical Center. This will be the finest facility of its kind in any College of Veterinary Medicine anywhere in the world. And Randall Terry would have been very proud that he had leveraged his efforts and financial resources to get a lot of people involved in seeing this come to a successful completion. It's a very exciting time for me to recall Randall's early efforts in getting us to think big, to have a big vision, if you will, and to be himself involved in seeing this uh, come to uh, completion. It'll be an excellent opportunity for us to provide a learning experience for our veterinary students, our residents and interns, an excellent opportunity for faculty to guide that process as we deliver exceptional service to our clients and their animals. This is a wonderful time for the College of Veterinary Medicine and a very unique, exciting event. The Terry Center is a world-class medical facility that reflects the world-class nature of the people that work and study on our campus. The center was designed by a team of experts with extensive involvement and input from our faculty and staff and was designed in a manner that reflects the current needs of our clinical service operations and of the education of future veterinarians and veterinary specialists. I am confident that the Terry Center will be the gold standard for veterinary academic hospitals for many years to come and will allow us to continue the tradition of excellence in the three core missions of a land-grant university, namely education, discovery, and public engagement. As Chief of Surgery at North Carolina State, uh, the Terry Center is really bringing a lot to our program where uh, space is one of the main things and we're going to have uh, greatly in increased uh, abilities within uh, surgical operating rooms, uh, specialized rooms for multiple services and specifically in orthopedics, my area, we've got uh, a new table that allows uh, intraoperative fluoroscopy from uh, virtually any angle allowing us to do a lot more minimally invasive surgery. And we're excited about the uh, new CT machine and the radiology suite that's uh, going to really uh, enhance our imaging capabilities and building on uh, our uh, deformity and uh, that type of work. In the teaching realm, we've uh, built into our uh, OR lights a camera system that uh, will allow us to distribute uh, images out to rounds rooms and lecture theaters and really engage the students a lot more in what's uh, going on within, the, um, within our area. So we're really looking forward to uh, the upgrades and the extra space and uh, having a facility that's going to take us forward. I'm really excited about our move into the Terry Center. The teaching spaces were designed for the needs of students and faculty and will really enable us to have some good rounds discussions. As a surgeon, I'm excited about the state-of-the-art facilities that will allow us to incorporate new technology. As a department head, I'm excited about the fact that the beautiful building will allow us to maintain a very high quality faculty and allow us to recruit the best and the brightest. The new Terry Center is a wonderful commitment of the people of North Carolina as well as Mr. Randall Terry to provide the best veterinary care possible to the pets of North Carolina. One of the things that's happened over the last 20 years or so is the delivery of specialized care. Some of the most um, cutting edge and, and high level care is delivered in a specialized manner. And I'm really excited about the new building in that the design of the building really reflects that um, change in delivery of services and so we'll be able to provide really specialized care um, in the various different pavilions of the new hospital. For example, in my area in the cardiology pavilion, we're really excited about our new catheterization lab. Our new cath lab is going to be enhanced both in space and equipment and we'll be able to do some things that we've never been able to do before. Um, we're excited about the prospect of 
um, correcting some disorders of arrhythmias and even potentially correcting uh, mitral valve disease in dogs um, with a minimally invasive procedure. Um, and so we're very excited and, and we thank you so much. The reason I'm so excited about the new Terry Center is this will give us an opportunity to integrate some of the services that are already present within the Veterinary Teaching Hospital. And those services include internal medicine service, uh, the ICU service, and the emergency service. And these are three services that already provide outstanding care, um, but the new facility will allow us to integrate those services and provide even better care um, at a much higher level and provide better client services for our clients, better patient care for our patients, better service to the referring veterinary community, and also incredible teaching opportunities for our students, house officers, and graduate students. So the Terry Center is just a very exciting opportunity for us. Um, everyone is looking forward to the new facility and moving into the new building and providing these outstanding opportunities, again, for patient care, for student teaching, house officer teaching, and providing client services and uh, services to the referring veterinary community. I was a student here at NC State Vet School. Um, I remember sitting in a meeting and having the plans for the Terry Center um, revealed to us and everybody was just so excited to hear about the new center and what it could mean for the hospital and NC State. Um, I graduated, went to the University of Pennsylvania for my internship and now I'm proud to be back as a resident here at NC State and it's just very exciting that we're moving forward from you know, our, our current hospital to move into the new Terry Center. Um, I'm a radiation oncology resident, and what I'm most excited about is our new linear accelerator, um, which is our radiation therapy machine. Um, it's going to allow us to be more precise and conformed with our radiation therapy treatments, um, improving the efficacy, allowing us to be more efficient in our therapy. Um, the other thing I'm really excited about is in the oncology wing of the new hospital, we're going to have portraits of our patients um, to just show, again, the, um, the patients, the troopers that are going through chemotherapy and radiation and a tribute to them and their clients who, who love and are, are here and um, treating them. So from the student perspective, the Terry Center offers a wealth of opportunities and advantages that will be a great asset to our incoming classes. First of all, the facility is just beautiful, spacious, and filled with new technology that students really aren't exposed to other places. For instance, our cardiology department has a new biplanar fluoroscopy unit, electrophysiology, and these are just great things for students to be exposed to. In addition, just having additional space allows students to learn in a more relaxed environment where you aren't tripping over your fellow students or their patients while you're trying to give them treatments or do a physical exam. Second, one of the great things about the Terry Center is the expanded areas for education, or what we call rounds rooms. It's so important for students to be able to interact with faculty members one-on-one -on -one in a comfortable environment, and all of the services that are in the Terry Center have very nice rounds rooms for students to interact. And finally, one of the great things about the Terry Center is that by moving our specialty services to that new facility, we free up space in our old facility for expanding our current wellness program. This is really an area of our curriculum that's a little bit weak at the moment. We focus so much on our specialty services, but when it comes to primary care, we don't get as much exposure. So by expanding our wellness program for the pets of folks that are in the CVM community, we'll get more exposure to those areas and really round out our curriculum. The new Terry Center is really going to allow us to create new environments for our clients and for our patients and really enhance the already exceptional patient care that we have. By expanding the individual service areas, we're going to be able to create new um, spaces for new groundbreaking procedures that we can then offer to the community. I also feel that the Terry Center is going to be able to really showcase the state-of-the-art equipment and state-of-the-art staff and care that we already have and we'll be able to share that with the rest of the community in the new spaces that we have. And finally, I feel that the pride that we all um, express for working at such a top-ranked veterinary school and veterinary teaching hospital will really be showcased in the Terry Center and we can each truly share and express our pride for being able to add our own little 
touches to that building and I, I think that we've really created a great space and I think people will be really proud of that.